Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm bringing you a fantastic tenor size John Kennard tenor size um, ukulele, custom ukulele. And I've been I've been very privileged and, f and fortunate enough to record uh, quite a bit of Kennard's works and his ukuleles over the years. And I've been really a big fan ever since the start. He John makes fan fantastic sounding ukuleles and I've always just he's just making banger after banger ukuleles um, whether it's his master series or his making just like this you know another one of his customs but um, what's really cool about this custom in particular and I'll, I'll go more in detail in a bit is that it's one of those thin line or like the, the smaller body kind of um, instruments and I'll go into the sound the kind of sound that you get from this but um, yeah, this is a really cool special ukulele and I'm really happy to be sharing with this, uh, sharing this ukulele with you folks. So go ahead and get started with the, with the top. We have a California Redwood. It's really, really nice. I mean, I almost thought it was like sinker Redwood, but yeah, California Redwood. Really, really nice lines and then the grain pattern or the quarter song itself, when you look at it in the light, there's just so much little detail in this wood. It's really, really beautiful and there's different colors too like like you have the lighter colors here right here right here and then you have the darker lines coming up right here there's just so much different shades of brown in this redwood it's it's really really visually pleasing whether you're looking at it from far away when you're looking at it in the light and just admiring the instrument it's really top quality stuff right here as the face of the instrument here we have african macor wood so this is one of those newer woods that i'm being exposed to but it's really really nice um almost looks like like you know acacia or maybe a mahogany but yeah it's really really nice and i'll go into like the, the, the kind of sound that this wood gives off later on when i talk about the sound but really really nice um and then we have tortoise shell binding here on the back and the front of the instrument so that color really highlights nicely that darker macor wood here on the sides and back and then that really beautiful redwood top um right here we have herringbone a herringbone rosette kind of design right here around the rosette and then here even on the back of the back strip of the instrument we have that herringbone design really really nice we have an ebony bridge an ebony fretboard and a satin finish ebony face plates with the john canard um, label here on the top um, and then here we have a satin neck we have, we have the goto tuners right here goto is something um, some of you know the best tuners are one of the best tuners you can put on um, an ukulele really easy to use really really pretty um, really pretty looking tuners um, we have this little uh, ebony kind of like uh, heel block here on the top or sorry right here and then this instrument also has a sound port and I've come to really like sound ports and appreciate the value that it brings to the ukulele in terms of the kind of sound you get from having a side port now the advantage of having a side port is one you can it allows the instrument to breathe a little more because if this sound port was covered the only place where the ukulele sound can come is from the soundboard or sorry from the the sound hole right here and essentially like you know i'm not, I'm not gonna put a percentage but a majority of the sound comes from the sound hole and it spits out in front of you but if you're over here you can't really hear what's in front of you unless someone else is you know s you know sitting in front of you standing in front of you so what this side port does is it allows you to get a very accurate representation of what the ukulele sounds like in front of you versus you know what you're hearing kind of behind the instrument and Kind of like the proof of that is if you gave this ukulele and had someone play it and you're sitting in front of it, it's going to sound much different than when you're hearing the instrument from the back end of it. So that's one of the, the big advantages of having the sound port. It allows your instrument to breathe a little more, but it also gives you that accurate representation of when I'm strumming or doing the picking, I can hear exactly what it sounds like from this um, side port. Um, so yeah, Kennard's ukuleles are one of my favorites. Um, especially when it comes to the sound. I've always played really excellent sounding Carnard ukuleles, and it's always really exciting to be able to hold one, play one, talk about one, and share this with you folks. So um, just strumming a simple C chord, it's, I mean, gosh, the, the quality, the tone, it's extremely warm, the note articulation or the clarity is so clean. And this is exactly what I would look for and an ukulele that I personally would want. So beautiful, so warm. Oh my gosh. And the sustain. So sustain meaning when if I play, you know, this F chord, F add 9 chord. Sorry, not, just an F chord. 
how long does it take for the note to naturally decay? And I'll go one step farther too, is that it's not only how long it takes for a chord or the notes or the sound to decay, it's how fast of a decay. So think about it like you, you have this, and when you play a chord, you start off here. Now does the sound just go like this? It dives off a cliff? Or does it have a nice natural kind of, like a more slower decline in the sound? So for this, which is so beautiful. Like it just takes a long time for it to naturally dial, but then the, the, the slope is just very, it doesn't have a harsh drop off. It has a really, and it just floats and floats. Five to six seconds of just it have a really nice resonance. And then the quality of the sound too, not only does it have a nice sustain, it has a really nice warmth with the mids. Again, the note separation, just so clean across all the notes. Again, the sustain just really even up here. It's like a pin drop. It's super clean. And you find this on all canards. It's not just this one. Like every canard is just fantastic. Whether you, know, you want this one or you want another one, all of his instruments are just such a treat to play. It's so clean. So nice. Now remember how I brought up a few minutes ago how this is a <clears throat> like a thin line, you know. So the body is a is a, the height of the body or the or the depth of the body is smaller than a traditional um, ukulele. But notice how again the sound it's still as if it's a regular you know body like a regular height body or depth body instrument. It still has a nice big sound. It still has that nice warm nice warm tone but the sound is still loud as if you're playing a regular one and that just shows you that canard is challenging our expectations of you know you think you have a bigger body you're gonna get a bigger sound you know and you go the opposite way you have a smaller body you're gonna get a thinner sound a smaller kind of sound but I don't know. I'll let you guys I'll let you guys you know trust your ears and you tell me or you can ask yourself hmm, does it have a smaller sound because this has wow I don't even have to play hard, like... <laughs> so has a really loud sound to me. And again, the quality of the sound is just so nice. It's still going. And there you go. So, really, really nice. And one of the... Um, the playability aspects, or one of the advantages with the playability of, like, let's say, a thinner body, is that when you go around to grab the instrument like this and you're ready to play it because it's thinner you can kind of wrap it around you can kind of like hug it a little more and because it's closer to your body you feel more comfortable with the instrument being you know flat against your body just like this so it just like from a player from a player standpoint like it feels nice that you can be closer to the instrument versus if i were to play like a regular body it would be more like this so because it sticks out a little more you kind of have to it's going to be a little more out so maybe you might have to like move your head and like like turn your instrument like this to see the fretboard you have to really like lean forward which you kind of want to avoid doing when you're playing but because this is a thinner body i can bring it closer to my body i can snug like hug it more i can be more snug with it it feels a lot easier to like just hold it closer to your body and then it's much less likely that i have to do this to see the fretboard i can literally just look down and it's right there because it's closer to your body so <laughs> Again, it's an absolute treat to be able to play. <laughs> I love, I love his works. Just so beautiful. Just, oh. yeah, really nice. So, um, let me go ahead and show you, show you guys what this ukulele can do. It's a lot of great stuff. So here we go.
Yeah, so, so, such a treat to play, so beautiful. And here's what this ukulele sounds like with a bit of strumming. Thank you. 